Damn it, man. Sorry, I always get a bit emotional when I'm playing online. But when the ping's not right and I slide off the track... The ping is all about how fast the data package gets from A to B online. So in my case, from the game to the server. That's called latency. And latency won't just be important for gaming in the future, but also in lots of other areas of our lives, and which they are, is the subject of today's Netzgeschichten. In the year 2020, practically everything will communicate with everything else. In real time, of course. Combine harvesters with the tractors that carry the grain to the silo. Shipping containers with the loading system in the port. Cars with traffic lights or... Your smartwatch with the heating in your home. More than 200 billion things will be connected to each other and the annual global volume of data will grow to a massive 44 zettabytes. That's the equivalent of around 3 billion cramful iPhones. And, in order to rise to all of these challenges, the industry is working on a global standard for the network of the future, known as 5G. 5G is the mobile generation of the future. Unlike 3G and 4G, it's not about 7 billion people who want to communicate with each other. Instead, 5G is all about 500 billion end devices, the so-called Internet of Things. And the idea is that this Internet of Things will be regulated and controlled in real time. In other words, the network needs to cope not just with throughput, but also with other important issues of security, network availability and latency. When you look at how 4G and 3G worked, you see that it was a highly centralized system in which the base station communicated with an end device. Now what's happening is that the communication between end devices will play a larger role. So we have an interconnected system, which you see, for instance, in cars that communicate with each other, or people who can establish networks among themselves. The network only controls how the individual devices communicate with each other. That's really important, because when you have 500 billion end devices, it's just not technically possible to link them all centrally. The interconnection will ensure that people can communicate with each other in a way that is relatively fast, secure and energy efficient. This sort of rapid communication is essential in cases such as the A9 test route between Munich and Nuremberg. There, cars learn to exchange data via the mobile network in less than a blink of an eye, so that, for example, they can break safely in an emergency. In February 2020, by the way, we'll be uploading the 250th episode of Netzgeschichten. If you have any suggestions for topics, then feel free to use the comment bar below. You can find all of our other videos up here, and we'll see you again next week. Ciao!